Today's telecast is presented live from Grim Bay X Compton at the historic football shrine, Slam Bone Field, where so much of Newton football's history has been written in blood. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Los Scandalous Volts take on the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. I love this job. Second down in a very lot. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third and four. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. play went nowhere fast. No game. Second down and ten. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now looks like extra crispy. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Second down and more. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Third down and never going to happen. Nice pass for a 10-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, 
doing? He just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. You've got to catch that. And that'll bring up third down and seven. set up the offense just catch it run it back and don't die and it's first and ten Second down and a lot. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. For men and anything really tastes good. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. Watch is a bit slow. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Second down and a lot. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop. After three, two. You know, the all you can eat buffets, they're not as literal as you'd think. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he put on the afterburner back to that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The 
kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Huge pass play for one yard. Second down and nine. And that's a run for no gain. Third down and eight. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Looks like my wedding night. There was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. You mean everyone? Second down and ten. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. Not Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. First down and six. Second down and seven. When defensive players go berserk, they've been... Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. It's about a three-yard pickup. Third down and five. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self -dying. But he seems to have worked through it. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. And it's first and ten. Hey, man. How's Kimmel and Shimmel? Ah, 
Catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Third down in. The punter is warming up. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down and one. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the now. You know what happened? Second and three. Just a great run for a touchdown. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed? And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second and three. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit the quarterback burns his last time out they can't stop the clock anymore and the offense goes into their two-minute drill which coincidentally happens to be bricks match stopsing time that's why the girls call me speedy gonzalez oh and that one's gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First down and five. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Graham. These guys are doing fine by themselves. The 
defense uses the time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. Hiring all those team physicists really paid off. And you said, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't episodic, Bricks. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Bricks started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. What you talking about? Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wear. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on first. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The ten, and the defense is on his heels. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Mm. Oh, he just got crushed. Third and two. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's...
It's first and ten. And that's three consecutive first downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Caught for the first down. First down to seven. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Sticks his fingers in the defender's eye, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down in a mile. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Third down and, well, good luck. Two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. Big quarterback can be hurting or dead. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Third down and nine. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. A nice run there for eight yards. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. 
His netting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. game picking up some steam a gain of seven there <laughs> second and three First and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. Second down and two. like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. to the races he's at the 20 and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive and it's first and ten Think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. And 
It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Supercharged with electricity. Oh man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket. He creates a sonic blast across the field. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Boom! The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Warp 30 Trist uses advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is one big black hole. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move. Ah, oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. The 20. He's at the 10. And he runs it in for the touchdown. the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make a pay. First and ten. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, if I was that QB, I'd be pissed. Man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and long. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here 
Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a sonic blast dirty trick. And he finds open space, is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. And that will bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but. This guy could blow it. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Friend, can I kill him? He had it for a second there. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. The offense is going to... The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Uh, same as Brits's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Team refuses to quit. They stay alive with four new downs. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And it's first. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. They weren't even on the same page on that play. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? How many times do we have to explain? He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic time. They not killed him yet. He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. Second down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. 
Third down. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Graham. Well, and the defense, too. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And it's first and ten. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for put that one in the loss column. The Grim Bay attackers lose the game. And they lost me 50 bucks. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Well, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. I'm a house I am a Blitzro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every 